that the marsh is important uh, for a couple reasons. Uh, one is that it has uh, the, the marsh grass, which provides uh, food for the bottom of the food chain, and also the Spartina and even the Phragmites uptakes uh, pollutants from the water and the, and the soil and processes that. And the sun is the driver of the, the process. So the sun creates the vegetation, feeds the vegetation, it grows, it flourishes, and then it dies and becomes food for everything at the bottom of the food chain on up. More than 300,000 acres in Atlantic, Cape May, and Cumberland counties are considered tidal salt marsh, a habitat critical to the region's environmental resources. The marshes, or saltwater meadows, provide food and shelter for many commercially important species of crabs and fish. The marshes also help keep the water in the area's bays and nearby beaches clean. Uh, the role the marsh plays in the estuary is sort of the nursery part. It's, it's, uh, it's where the food source comes from, the original food source comes from the, the vegetation. Uh, the, sh the vegetation also provides shelter for small creatures to hide in so that they can grow big enough to uh, move on and reproduce, which, which is their goal. All those small creatures are food for larger animals, including fish and large birds, such as egrets, herons, and ospreys. The uh, shellfish are predominant on the marsh, especially in this area. Uh, you have crabs, you have the fiddler crabs, blue claw crabs. Uh, there's a lot of small shrimp that uh, are part of the bottom of the food chain. There's a lot of small fish. Um, they all kind of interact. There's a surprising number of big birds out here. There's owls, there's vultures eagles, osprey, <clears throat> uh, cooper's hawks. Tidal wetlands change throughout the day as the water level rises and falls. At low tide, crabs and snails hide in the mud as wading birds look for food. At high tide, tiny fish will swim among the grass blades. The marsh looks flat, but barely an inch of elevation determines what species lives where. You, get, you, you can use the water as a level and get, a, get an idea of the topography here. This is what they call micro topography. So those little knolls and clumps are, are important for really small stuff to be able to get just the, the right amount of water that they need. <laughs> 